On the Baldwin County beat, back to school will hold a little more meaning in Gulf Shores next week. On Friday, a week from today, the schools will open their doors for the first time as an independent school district. The city officially splitting from the Baldwin County school system. Crews have been renovating the middle and high school campuses, and News 5's Brianna Hollis is live there tonight to show us what those renovations look like. Bree? Well, Pete, they've definitely made a lot of progress since this construction started just two months ago. Now it won't be completely finished by the time that first bell rings, but district officials assure us that everything's fully functional. It's incredible. The, the cooperation between the school board and the city and our contractors has been phenomenal. There's been so much work to do in such a short period of time. Remember, we just took over June the 1st. Gulf Shores School Board President Kevin Corcoran has spent the last year in meeting after meeting waiting to see the physical fruition of Gulf Shores City Schools finally come together. Touring the revamped grounds, it's really a story of before and after. The playground, before, after. The old one just had to go. We've got a great system here and it's, it's all inclusive. Those with special needs, we've got the only uh, spinner in the whole state of Alabama which is wheelchair accessible. We're excited about that and it's a great thing. We believe in the physical body as well as the mental body. And here's the gym, before, after. Totally refurbished gymnasium, new floor surface, new basketball goals, the ceiling is new. And some other things that may not be as bright and shiny or fun to show you video of, but nonetheless exciting for parents and teachers. And are there any changes to the drop off and all of that? Oh my gosh, there's tons. Okay. Like I said, we're gonna have all kinds of segregation so that elementary school will only be in this loop. Middle school would be in a very similar loop down there, and we've also created a new loop for drop-off for the high school as well. And for any parents who want specifics on that traffic flow for drop-off and pickup, you can visit our website, wkrg.com. And of course, with the split, big changes are also coming to Orange Beach schools. We'll dig into that side of things next week. Reporting live in Gulf Shores tonight, Brianna Hollis, WKRG News 5.